Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you four different appetizers that are perfect for game day. Actually, they are perfect for whenever you want an appetizer, but with Super Bowl coming up, I thought it'd be fun to do this video and show you four of our favorite appetizers for game day. Now I have done previous videos on all of these before, so you may have seen them, but I thought it'd be fun to put all of our favorites into one video for kind of easy access. And also I realize a lot of people haven't seen some of these. I will have links down to the full videos that I have done on all these though, where you will find the list of ingredients, instructions, recipe builder links, nutritional information as far as points, calories, macros, and additional nutritional info. All that good stuff will be in the individual videos description boxes. But let's jump in with the first appetizer. First up are two ingredient dough buffalo chicken bombs. We love the different bombs. I have made several different ones. I will go ahead and list a couple other ones that I think would make great appetizers down in the description box as well. But these are probably our favorite overall and definitely our favorite when it comes to a game day appetizer. This starts off with a two ingredient dough, which is for me, one cup self-rising flour to three quarter cup fat-free Greek yogurt. Now the WW recipe is using more of both of these, which does make theirs a point higher than mine. I find that this is the perfect amount. So this is how I do it, but that is the only change I have made to their recipe. So I just stir those together until the dough looks like that. And then you're going to knead it for two to five minutes. Um, also, I want to point out, I do factor in an eighth a cup of flour to knead and roll out the dough. So I'm going to just knead this for a few minutes. And then once that's done, I just set that aside and work on the filling. For the filling, you're going to get yourself a large bowl and you're going to add in some low fat cream cheese. I'm using a third less fat cream cheese and then some fat free Greek yogurt. You're then going to take this and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to get that cream cheese softened up. And then you're going to stir the two of those together really well. Next up, you're going to add in some hot sauce. I used this Texas Pete, which was pretty good. That was the first time we had tried that particular hot sauce, but it was good. So you're going to stir that into your cream cheese mixture really well. Then you're going to add in some carrot, celery, and green onion and some boneless, skinless chicken breast that's been chopped up as well as some blue cheese crumbles. And then you're going to stir everything together really well. Back over to the dough. Once you've got that all kneaded out, you're going to take it and you're going to cut it into eight equal parts. And then you're going to take each one of those parts and you're going to roll it out on a floured surface until you get roughly a five inch diameter circle. And then you're going to take your filling and you're going to add a little over two tablespoons of filling to each one of these. I'm just using an eighth cup measuring cup there that I'm slightly rounding and that seemed to work pretty well. So now you're going to take the sides of your dough, pull them up, pinch it together at the bottom until you have that sealed. And I just do that with the remaining. Then you're going to take a beaten egg and you're going to brush that on the tops of these. And that just gives these a nice golden brown look when you cook them. And you can either bake these or use the air fryer. I'm going to be using the air fryer. You then add a little bit of granulated garlic, some fresh cracked black pepper, and then these are ready to go in the air fryer. I'm using a silicone liner in mine so that I don't have to spray anything in there. And that works pretty well. And then I'm air frying mine at 400 for about five minutes. Again, you could put these in the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes, but at five minutes in the air fryer, this is how mine are looking. And here's what these look like inside. A serving of these are two, four, seven points. Look at him. He's tucked up in there. <laughs> Okay, back to the bomb. I'll show that again. I've showed the inside, but I'll show it again. I think they smell really good. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, actually a lot lighter than I thought they'd be, for whatever reason. Hmm. Um, 
you really, you know, blue cheese is a very uh, powerful flavor. Is that prominent in there then, the blue cheese? But it's, it's after you, after you uh, chew it for a bit, mm -hmm. you don't get it at first. So really I tasted the, like the vegetables almost, it was like fresh okay. up front. And then I started getting the blue cheese and of course the blue cheese is staying with me. What and about just, the uh, hot sauce that's Just in a there? little bit of the hot sauce. Okay. I mean, honestly, I would want more. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, really very pleasant. Okay. So again, we've had a lot of different bombs and you just took a bite when I'm asking you to say. Um, I think your favorite, I'm trying to remember what your favorite was. Was it the breakfast one? Maybe? I don't know. Could be. Uh, but how's that rank in with the rest of them, I guess? That might be my favorite. Okay. I don't know. It's really good. That's like one of the better. I mean, because all the bombs have been really good. Yeah. But this is one of the better ones. Good flavor combination. Yeah. All right, guys. That was Buffalo Chicken Bombs. Next up are air fryer zucchini chips. These make a great veggie option when it comes to appetizers. They have very minimal ingredients to them, but they pack a ton of flavor and are low in points. So I've got a little container here that I'm gonna be putting my breading mixture in. You could also use a Ziploc bag if you want to. I've done that before too. You can just dump it all in a Ziploc bag and then kind of shake your zucchini in there. But this time I'm, I'm gonna be using a bowl. So I'm gonna add in my breadcrumbs, quarter cup Parmesan cheese, a little bit of fresh black pepper, probably about a quarter teaspoon, maybe a little less, just kind of to taste. And then because I love garlic so much, a teaspoon of this granulated garlic. If you're not a huge garlic fan, then you probably want to use a little less than that. And I'm going to just stir that all together and then set that aside. And in another container, I'm going to add my egg and lightly beat that and then set that aside. Now I'm going to take my zucchini and I'm going to slice it into probably about an eighth of an inch thick, maybe a little more. You can kind of do this however, however you want, whatever your preference is. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this all up. And now I'm going to get my air fryer preheating to 400 because this is one of those things that you want your air fryer kind of nice and hot for when you start. So I don't always preheat mine, but again, this one, I think it works better to do. So I'm gonna get this preheating at 400. And then while that's preheating, I'm gonna start getting these ready to go in. So first, you're gonna take them and you're gonna just dip them in the egg. Get closer. And then you're going to dip them in your breading mixture. And then I'm gonna just lay mine on this piece of parchment until they're ready to go in. So I'm gonna continue doing these and then I will be back. All right, I am back and these gave me quite a bit more trouble than they typically do and I know why and it's because I used the shredded Parmesan instead of grated or really fine great Parmesan. I will typically use the Kraft Parmesan cheese, the stuff in the can, and that really fine cheese works a whole lot better than this uh, shredded because it was not wanting to stick. So I ended up throwing everything in a Ziploc bag. After all, that helped a little bit, but I would definitely suggest not using the shredded like I did here. And the only reason I did today was because I was trying to get that used up. So I will make sure that in the description box down below where I have the recipe. I have it noted as grated and not shredded because the shredded does not work as well. It made me kind of a little bit of a mess here, but I've got these all done. So now in my air fryer, which is preheated, I'm going to place some of these in here and I've got a uh, silicone liner in here. It's kind of blown around. Straighten that out. And then these usually, these silicone liners usually help a lot to keep the food from sticking. But sometimes with certain things, they don't work as well. So 
Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna spray the silicone liner with a little bit of this olive oil spray. I've heard it's not good to spray the uh, sprays on the basket itself, so hopefully that's okay. But I'll spray that in there, and then I'm gonna lay my zucchini in here. And you don't want these touching, so it's gonna take more than one batch, because you don't, you can't get them all in here at one time, but I got as many as I can. So hopefully I only have to do two batches. But again, you want them to have enough airflow in between so that they get cooked right. All right, now that I've got those all in there, I'm gonna take my same cooking spray and I'm gonna just kind of spritz all of these. Then I'm gonna cook these on 400 for about six minutes. And here's how we're looking at six minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and do the rest of them. Okay, I've got these all done up. Now the points on these I just divide it in half because basically my husband will eat half and I'll eat half when it's just one like this. So half of these would be four points. And then over here, I've got some marinara sauce that I heated up, half cup there. That's a point worth of marinara sauce. Uh, this is the marinara sauce that I have a video on that I like to use in a lot of my recipes. It's, it's nice and low point, like I said, half cup is one point. I'll link that recipe for this up above and down below if you want to check that out. But that's what we're going to dip these in. And you want to try one? Yeah. I'll have my hubby try one. They smell amazing. Yeah, they do. I'm sure you smelled them upstairs when you were working. Mm -hmm. It's funny, you can smell the zucchini, um, but then the, you know, the breading and the spices. Parmesan. Again, that Parmesan really kind of messed me up. So, learn by my mistake and don't use the shredded because it made it much more difficult than it would have been otherwise. Yeah, so those are really good. And you don't like, you don't really like zucchini, right? You're not a huge fan. Is that a hot one? Sorry. That was the last batch. So about the only time I've ever eaten it is I would, I would cut them up and like, you know, fry shape, and I would mm -hmm. grill them mm -hmm. in olive oil, mm -hmm. and, and it, it was fine. Um, yeah. I mean, this is obviously way more flavorful with that because it's got the the breading and the cheese on it. Yeah. Um, but that is really very good. Satisfying little I have what appetizer? Yeah, I was I was literally just going to say that I would I would not be shocked to see this on a menu in an Italian restaurant. Okay. Right. Yeah, as an Italian. yeah Italian. Um, and I would order them. Those are really good. Yeah, and four points for half of them. I don't think it's too bad at all. Mm -mm. I mean, technically. I mean, that's a really satisfying little appetizer. And that's one of the things I miss when when we're eating well. Is appetizers? Is appetizers yeah. <laughs> going out to eat, you know? Yeah, appetizers are are pretty good. So this kind of. Foots the bill, not foots the bill. What is it? What am I trying to say? Fits. fits. Having a problem talking lately, I swear. I don't know. Is that right? I, I have no clue. Fits but the but they probably know what we're trying Somebody to say. Somebody can put it in the comments. Somebody can, <laughs> they can figure out what we're trying to say here. Yeah. This hits the spot. How about that for go. for appetizers? So it's and I don't I don't typically have zucchini. Um, it's not something I buy a lot. Now when we had a garden, I had a lot of it. But now, not so much. If I ever if I ever have a garden again, I'll probably grow zucchini because I do really enjoy zucchini, especially in this kind of form. So, anyway, that was. Oh, before I end it, you can absolutely bake these too if you don't have an air fryer. I don't think they're as good. I will say that, but um, you can do these in the oven. I will try and remember to put bake time and cook time for oven down in the uh, description where I've got all the ingredients and instructions. Next up are air fryer garlic knots. Now I just recently did a video on these, but I had to include these in because these I do think make a perfect game day appetizer. 
And they are another two ingredient dough recipe, which if you have been watching me for a while, you know I absolutely love the two ingredient dough. And this is just another great way to use it. So I definitely wanted to include this in. So in a medium sized bowl here, I'm gonna add in my flour, which again is one and a quarter cups. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of granulated garlic, about a quarter teaspoon worth. And then my three quarter cup plain fat-free Greek yogurt. I'm now gonna just stir all of that together. Okay, now that I've got it to this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands and kind of mix it together with my hands, which are clean. I'm gonna just kind of knead this a little bit in the bowl until it gets nice and combined and looks like dough. I needed that for a couple minutes and that is how it's looking. So now I'm gonna take it and knead it just a little bit more on this cutting board here because it's not quite where I want it and it's easier to knead on flat surface than in that bowl. So I'm gonna knead this for another couple minutes and then I'll be back. All right, I've got my dough to where I want it. So now I've got it kind of formed in a ball here and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it into six equal parts or as close to six equal parts as I can get it. Then I'm gonna take each one of those parts and I'm gonna kinda roll it out And what I'm looking for here is about a 10 inch long piece of dough, about like that. So then I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna cut it in half, and I'm gonna take each half and I'm gonna kind of make a knot out of it. You might have to pull on it a little bit to get that to work. Make a knot like that and then just kind of tuck the ends in like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this next one. Again, just kind of make a knot and then kind of tuck the ends down like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, roll out the rest of my dough and do them like this and then I will be back. All right, I've got all those done up. So now I'm gonna take my air fryer here and I'm going to, I've got a silicone lining in here. I'm gonna spritz it with a little olive oil. I forgot to show the olive oil in the ingredients list but I will have that down in the description box with the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna lay these in here. My air fryer is just under seven quarts. If you have a smaller one, you're probably not gonna be able to get all these in here. You wanna leave a little room in between them. And mine kinda of just barely fits all of them. So again, if you have to do these in batches, you can. And as I said before, I'll also have oven instructions for these down in the description box. So once I get these all in here, I'm going to go ahead and spritz the tops of them with a little olive oil. My olive oil spritzer is not working very well right now. Okay, now I'm gonna air fry these at 400. For mine, it does about five minutes. So when these are done and nice and golden brown, I will be back. While those are cooking in there, I'm gonna get my butter spread ready, which again is five tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown. I'm gonna just get that heated up and melted. Got that melted up, so now I'm gonna add in a teaspoon Italian seasoning and two teaspoons minced garlic. 
Then I'm gonna just mix the three of those together really well. And here these are, they're looking good. I did almost five minutes on them this time. But yeah, these are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a plate. I'll show you the next step. Okay, now I've got these on a plate and I'm gonna take my butter garlic mixture here and I'm gonna just brush this on all of these. All right, I think my camera cut me off as I was showing the Parmesan, but I went ahead and just sprinkled two tablespoons of Parmesan on top of those once I got all the butter on them. And now just for garnish, I don't typically do this if I'm just making them for myself, but to make these look a little bit prettier, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little parsley on them. So again, if you want to serve these, make them a little prettier, I would suggest just sprinkling them with a little dried parsley, a little extra color there. I'll add this down in the ingredients list too for a garnish. All right, but that is all there is to these. These smell so good. They're just delicious. You would never know that this was Weight Watcher friendly or not something that was just full calorie. They're so, so good. I'll show you how I serve them here in just seconds. Okay, I've got a little ramekin here with a half cup of my marinara sauce that I like to make. I use this stuff for so many different things. It's a good pizza sauce, just a good tomato sauce for a lot of different things. And that's what I'm gonna be dipping these with. A half cup serving of that is a point. So you could use that whole thing for just an additional point. And the points on these guys are gonna be two points a piece, but that's how we like to eat these. Like I said, these are just absolutely delicious. They make a great appetizer. They would make a great game day appetizer. Just whenever you need an appetizer, these would definitely fit the bill because they're just so good. And like I said, you would never know that these were Weight Watcher friendly if you weren't told. I'll go ahead and break one of these open for you so you can see what they look like inside as well. Okay, like I said, I will go ahead and break one of these open for you so you can see what they look like inside, maybe. Now I use a lot of butter on these. You don't really need to use as much butter as I used if you don't want, hopefully, oh. Hopefully you can see that. I'll go ahead and take a bite for you too. Like I said, these are a little messy because they do have a lot of butter on them, but that's how I like them. These are just so good. I know I keep saying that. Delicious. Kind of remind me a little bit of my cheesy breadsticks that I do. They're very similar. These just are a little more heavy on the garlic flavor, I would say. But yeah, delicious. And finally is an easy spinach dip. Now the video that I'm gonna be linking for this has two other dips in it. All of them use Greek yogurt. This is just my favorite of the three. In a medium sized bowl, you're gonna add in your two cups of Greek yogurt, one cup light mayo, packet of nor, bell peppers, green onion, and finally your spinach. And then you're gonna just mix all of this together really well. And that is all there is to this one. So now what you wanna do is put this in your fridge for a good two to four hours overnight is even better. So I'll go ahead and do that and then come back. Okay, and here it is, ready to eat. And I just thought I would show you a couple of the things that I do eat with it. Although, like I said, this stuff is good with just a lot of different things. Um, but I like to eat it with veggies just some chopped up, I've got bell pepper, celery carrots there. And then these pita chips are really, really good with this. This is probably my favorite thing, of course, because it has points, the veggies doesn't, but the pita chips, I'll show you what pita chips I'm using. These Stacy's, they are the Simply Naked. They're four points a serving, very, very good. So that's my favorite way to eat this. But this dip, like I said, it's just delicious. 
Definitely one of my favorites. And when you lighten it up with Greek yogurt, makes it lower calorie, lower points, all that good stuff. And yeah, just a really, really great dip. Now this is, I divide this into 14 servings and that ends up being just over a quarter cup. So that is two points a serving, which is not bad for as good as the stuff tastes. And those were four of our favorite game day appetizers. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe this gave you some ideas. As I said in the beginning, be sure to check down in the description box below for links to the full videos on all of these recipes where you will find all the info that you are wanting for them. But thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.